The idea came to me when I was doing Alter Ego and I was in Korea or China and um, in Korea and China they have huge internet cafes and you, you walk into one of those places and there are a row upon row of kids playing virtual world games. And that kind of got me thinking about our interaction with the screen. Because the idea kind of came from video games, the first thing I did was video games. But I, I mean, I want to do as many different subjects as possible. So, you know, comedy, sports, religion, literally any kind of subject which we kind of interact with through screens I'm interested in and I want to record. With immersion, I video people through the screen as they interact with digital media. It's recorded on very high definition video, and then still images are lifted from the video. If you're using a video camera, you're shooting between 25 and 30 frames a second. It's amazing how fast the human face changes, and an expression can pass across somebody's face you know, in, the, in less than a second, in the blink of an eye. And in fact, there's a lot of research being done into this. Um, you know, into micro expressions and when somebody is trying to disguise something and how that emotion will come out very, very quickly. Um, uh, so the advantage is that you capture more, um, more expression. We all live in our own worlds, don't we? I mean, a lot, a lot of the time we're thinking about what we're doing, where we're going, what we want to do. We kind of receive our environment to varying degrees you know sometimes we're very attuned to what's going on sometimes we're not at all i did obviously consider doing it in the environment um, and i just wanted i wanted it to be um, something where it was completely removed from that so that you you just concentrate on the person and, and their kind of um, headspace in their psychological world rather than their social world. I didn't want to have loads of clues. I mean, there are enough clues in people's clothing and stuff, but, um, but I, I just think, you know, as soon as you have a room, then, then you've got a whole bunch of other information that's coming over that, you know, maybe is kind of unnecessary. Or also, I just wanted it to be something um, that kind of looked a little bit like advertising or something in a really kind of off-kilter way.